We're fighting outfitters for the spot tomorrow, so we're loading the boat up now. It's gonna be an early morning. Figured might as well get it done while we're awake right now. Not groggy headed. Uh, we got probably eight dozen decoys to throw tomorrow. Big spread, big change up from yesterday. Open water. We got a boat, so I think it'll be another good hunt. Hopefully more birds on the ground than in the sky, but it's always good to see birds in the sky, you know? We are slightly behind schedule, but no worries. We, uh, no, we're gonna be fine. Hopefully, the shop's pretty low. Heading out on the river up here. Very different hunt than, than yesterday, but it's cold. There's gonna be birds moving. at the same time. All the weight in one spot, you pick your spot. Toss her like that. We got a north east wind today coming at our back, so we're gonna throw a J hook out and uh, cross shoot the birds as they come in. Um, we're gonna do eight dozen decoys with some fully flock mallards and a lot of motion. And uh, hopefully they do it dirty. Uh, basically, we're just trying to have some some good solid cover on top of the reeds. We'll probably grass it back in with the, the brighter reeds. It's a little bit dark grass for this area right now, being early season and all that. But I think we got a little bit of time here. We'll cut down some grass and toss it on the blinds, keep us hidden. Hopefully, get some overhead to eliminate that black hole effect you get with these A-frame panel blinds. So, yeah, hopefully, get a good one.
kill this one, guys. Get up. Jonah, you haven't finished your work. Yeah, I don't want to. Really so. much work. So we've been out here for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, we had a couple of mallards down. Um, we had a teal that we we're currently trying to recover. But we've had a lot of birds circle around close, and then they're putting down just just at a distance, not not in the decoy. So we tried turning the mojo on, keeping it off. Uh, these guys are out there right now. They're gonna pull some of our honkers, just try and change up the spread a little bit, see if we can't can't mix things up and, and get those guys to land right right where we want them. Are these ducks coming out of this? Yeah. <laughs> oh God, you're getting the you're getting the oh yeah. <laughs> The size of black ducks we were shooting yesterday. They were bigger than mine yesterday. Hey. All right, so now we're pulling up decoys. We just finished the hunt. We shot uh, two mallards and a black duck. And a teal. And a teal. We didn't end up finding the teal. It was in the grass. Um, but yeah, just picking up, going back, get some breakfast. It was a good hunt, but lost lost a lot of opportunities. Uh, this was a great hunt to have the campus waterfowl guys out here filming with us. Fortunately, we couldn't really get it done as much as we wanted to between opening day yesterday and today. The ducks were just kind of finicky. They were getting shot at a bunch in Canada, I guess, before they came to us. So that was kind of rough, but we're still still getting it done somewhat. Um, can't really complain. We're going to finish up picking up these decoys, and yeah, I, I think that'll be it. So. 
you guys can go like, follow, and subscribe to Campus Waterfowl and Slew DU or Slew Ducks Unlimited on Instagram. That would be huge, and it allows us to keep doing these videos.